Glad you're here. I am so excited that you are here. It's a great day. I appreciate you checking in and it, spending it with me. I am um, in the process of revamping my uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to start just because I was away from it for so long dealing with some other things. I'm going to take better care of my journal and I guess what I promise to do or at least try to do is publish um, one video a day regarding my health journey and where I'm at and what I'm doing um, such as today straight to the point got up went to church I lifted early usually I don't lift early but I did in this case and uh, I lifted what did I lift? I lifted, I transitioned into upper back today. So did a lot of pull-ups and a lot of uh, just straight back pulling. Um, one thing I did want to talk about today was gym etiquette. A lot of people that maybe don't understand this at all, uh, even those that go to the gym quite a bit. When you are at the gym, the people that work at the front desk or, or work there usually aren't, how should we put this, um, sometimes they aren't the friendliest, sometimes they are really friendly. I make a point to know who my people are, stop at the front, see what's going on on my way out, ask with the front desk, you know, how they're doing, and um, just try to get to know them. Look at the, the plaque area with their names and kind of who they are and what they specialize in if they do things like that and it also helps to maybe once a week go up to somebody at the gym that you don't know and just get to know them because they are in your space and it's good to know people in your space for good reasons and bad reasons that <laughs> gym is a community it's a thing a lot of guys and women try to come in and just get to it, get out, and some people are talkative Timmy's, and it gets to be really annoying. So there's a balance between the two. Make friends with uh, people and just be nice. How I run my, uh, my workout is I'll have, uh, for instance, like a chest day. I'll do flat bench chest, I'll do decline chest, and then maybe abs. I'm doing three things at once. Some people call it a, um, a super set when you're doing like incline and decline, you know, one and the other, one and the other, one and the other. I'll do three, what, I'll, what I call super set, or what is called super set, where I'll do three at a time. I'm be a big believer you can do a 25 minute workout in just as easily as you could an hour workout. But with that, people jump on your machines in the middle of things, sometimes knowingly, sometimes not knowingly. And I don't even bat an eye anymore. It's not worth fighting the, the um, getting in an argument over. Let them do their thing. They might be trying to interrupt you and, and feeling that you're taking over more machines and they might not. In either case, just work with it, but if somebody's on a machine and they're using it, take the time to look around and just be aware of what's going on. So um, there's a lot to be said about that. I wanted to make sure that I'm kind of documenting my health journey as I go along. So got up when worked out, did back. Um, came back and I worked on um, some videos and things like that. So that was basically my day. And I'll try to keep more of an update on how my day is. And what I had eat to eat today so far is some carrots. And I had a banana, a little bit of cereal, which I shouldn't have. But Sunday, decided to splurge a little bit, have some Rice Krispies. I'll probably have like chicken, straight up chicken, two or three chicken breasts. So that's usually how my meals go is uh, light, 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 like vegetables, vegetables, and then meat at dinner. Fastest way to get ripped. I, I was getting to where I wanted to be. My arms were getting to where they wanted to be. My abs were getting to where they wanted to be. But 
still I'm starting to feel just a little bit of puffiness around those areas that I was really working hard on. So I'm really going to try to hit it hard and kind of start over with you guys. And I'll post my my running routine so you can, if I remember to take my uh, cell phone with me running. I don't have an iWatch, so I have to take my iPhone. But you can see that I am actually running three to five to six miles a night as well which is a big thing because that's a huge calorie burn right there and um so far so good it was it was painful right away but now my body just kind of gets used to it just like as your body will it's an amazing organism and it will adapt to pretty much anything pain or, or not so on a personal level some uh pain medicine and some other things that I've been on and that's been slowly but surely getting really good and it's been feeling it's been hard I don't have a really a lot of positive to say about that but it's been hard so once I get off that I will be happy if I can do that and still maintain my strength instead of just going and then having nothing so I'm trying to wean off um, this medicine that they had me on for um, to try to get me off pain medicine, which was even wor the worst of the two. <laughs> I drink a lot of caffeine. I drink a Monster uh, caffeine. In fact, I had one around here, but it's the white Monster, zero sugar. It's a little bit of carbonated, so it's got that pop taste to it. And it's got 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. Sometimes I'll go through three to four of those a day, plus drinking coffee throughout the day. It's a lot of caffeine. Anyway, uh, like I said, if I can bring up one or two things, maybe one thing I'll focus on in my journal, I'll tell you about my day, where I'm at, you know, what I ate, what I didn't eat, and then talk about maybe something in depth a little more um, as far as my journey. On a side note, because of that, there's, I don't know if you remember, there's that guy on Facebook who... He was like 230 pounds and he had a really big gut and he was an athlete and then he went through the same process of, of losing that gut and going through that process and selling what that was and there was also an amino acid or something that they always add on that that's the secret. To me personally if you ask me there is no secret there are things that help no doubt there are things that help. But when you chalk it up to the amino acid, chemically based, whatever, is what put me over the edge, I don't believe it. And then second to that, what happens when you run out of that? It's expensive. So uh, your body will adapt. It'll, it'll, it'll uh, get to where you want it to be. I guarantee you that if you put in the time and just discipline yourself and you'll be surprised teen so i'm now you know i'm kind of i want to get a little more ripped than i am and then i want the rippedness to get bigger if that makes any sense and that's what all guys strive for is a ripped big but not overly big and hulky uh look so and you've seen pictures and i'm not going to post those again today <laughs> but i did take pictures uh for progress reasons and other things. No, I'm just kidding. So one or two things from this. That is great. Gym etiquette. Very important. Get to know one or two people at your gym. Even uh, decide, you know, this week I'm going to get to know this front desk lady or this front desk guy really well. And just be, pay attention to gym etiquette. Go up and ask people questions. Don't be a know-it-all. Listen. Um, Listening is a big factor in... Um, kind of what you do and and you'll you'll gain things that will help that come from completely unknown sources so good luck otherwise we will check in with you uh, as soon as i can thanks for checking in